I'm Scott L. Miller. This is my life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And a lot of you are looking at coming down to Nicaragua in 2025. And a lot of you are looking at moving, possibly coming with pets, lots of luggage, or just coming at alternative times and finding that Managua may not be offering the flights for you that really make sense. And a lot of you who are coming, especially from Canada, and I know that Toronto has this with Air Canada, there are direct flights that go to Costa Rica when there are not direct flights available to Nicaragua. In fact, even going through the United States often doesn't give you very many direct options. You may be stuck bouncing through a lot of places. So a lot of you are wondering, can I fly through Costa Rica and specifically the northern airport at Liberia, which is relatively close to the Nicaragua border? And the answer is why, yes, you can. But let's talk a little bit about that so that uh, because I'm being asked this quite often, let's just talk about what those logistics entail. Does it make sense in 2025? So we're going to get to those flight details right after that bump. Liberia is Costa Rica's second airport, and it sits in the Guanacaste, which is the region very close to Rivas and the tourist center in Nicaragua of San Juan del Sur. From, from downtown Liberia, which is just a little ways from the airport to the Nicaraguan border is only about an hour and a half, and that is the major land crossing between these two countries. So you get a lot of traffic going between them, and it's relatively easy to deal with. All land borders in this region are a little bit confusing, I will give you that. But if you're coming up uh, through there, I've, it's the least confusing of all all the borders I've had to deal with in the region and definitely the largest because these are both tourist zones of countries, Costa Rica being the biggest tourist country in the zone in, in the region and Nicaragua being a small one, but this is its tourist zone. There's a lot of tourist traffic going through there as well as other things. So just in general, very easy to deal with. And if you have a lot of luggage or animals, it can be easier actually to cross at this point than at others, just because they're more used to dealing with it. They're not, it's like an airport where you have a lot of logistics going on while you're trying to get through customs and such. So I tend to like it a lot more for a lot of reasons. And a lot of Nicaraguans have to come through there because a lot of our international flights originate in Costa Rica or Panama down into the, into the south or to the east. So we're often coming up when dealing with international flights anyway. So one of the things we want to talk about is why would you maybe want to choose this over just flying into Managua? Well, two important airlines that I know of that fly into Liberia are Southwest coming out of uh, Hobby Airport in Texas. Of course, their home is Love Field. I believe they have direct flights from Love. I know they do from Hobby, which is a much nicer airport to deal with than IAH. So if you're coming from the Houston area, that one is perfect and direct. Uh, if you're coming from Toronto, and I believe many parts of Canada, Air Canada goes direct uh, in to uh, Liberia. So getting from different parts of North America into Costa Rica directly without having to go through any additional hops can be a big deal. If you're bringing animals, that can be a big deal for that reason. Of course, they're safe once you have them in a car and you're on the ground. So you may want to consider it for those reasons. If you have a lot of luggage, it can be just easier to deal with. And sometimes you just don't want to have as many hops. And for many people, they want to visit Costa Rica while they're visiting Nicaragua. So it just makes sense to combine the two. Costa Rica typically has better airport options. We are getting a new airport here in Nicaragua, but it's not open yet. And uh, once it is, hopefully we're going to get more cheaper flights. But at the moment, we don't have it yet. So we're more limited. Liberia and San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, have larger airports than Managua, meaning bigger runways. So they're able to do things that other places are not. So sometimes we get good flights going in there simply because of that. Liberia is not a large city, so don't be surprised when you get to the airport and find that there are a number of things around it. It is a city, but you're not going to have loads of hotels and restaurants. There's a few and you definitely can get what you need, no problem. But this is not a big city and is not a tourist center. It is a hub for transit for tourists, but that's not exactly the same. Liberia itself is just a spot along the Pan American Highway and uh, it's mostly fast food, a few little restaurants. There's certain things and it is growing a little bit. Um, I think that it has a good future as a more uh, logistical hub, especially as its northern airport uh, gets better known. But in general, it's not a destination. You're not gonna wanna spend time there, but it's very easy to go from there out to the Guanacaste coast and the Nicoya Peninsula. And so that region is well served by the airport. A lot of people go and never go anywhere else in Costa Rica, but there. Uh, and if you are going to Nicaragua again, it's perfect for that. Just 90 minutes from the border. Now, how do you get to that border? A lot of people are like, can I rent a car? And just, well, technically, yes, you can rent a car, go to the border, but rental cars are not going to be able to cross the border. Some rental companies are going to offer you ability to drive up, drop a car, pick up a new one and go on the other side, or you're going to have to rent and take 
uh, rental car to the border and they can then get a new rental on the other side or some combination thereof. Generally, rentals are not something you want to do in Nicaragua. Just in general, doing it across the border where you can't take your car across, even less so. So I've never known anyone to actually want to do this, but it does exist as an option. Just be aware that crossing the border with a rental is never going to be allowed. If you have a friend who has a car they're going to uh, lend to you, be aware that quite often that has complications. Got to make sure you have the right paperwork. Make sure their car is allowed to cross the border. Talk to their lawyer before you try to do it. Make sure you're got everything uh, all taken care of. If you have a letter saying you're allowed to have their car or whatever, that can be complicated because it's not your car and you're crossing the border into a new country. Very, very rarely would you be able to do that. So that's something to be aware of as well. What most people are going to want to do is one of two things, either taking a bus that goes from Costa Rica and goes into Nicaragua. One of the reasons you want to do this is that it would give you, because you can book this ahead of time, an onward ticket that is easy to show to Costa Rican border control because you must have an onward ticket when flying into Costa Rica. Now, like we, we warn about this a lot. A lot of airlines, Air Canada is one that's been known to have problems, but so has Spirit, Avianca, many others, United American, that they will scam you and say you must have types of onward tickets that are not true. You don't have to have an onward flight. You don't have to have an onward flight with them. Any onward information is plenty for Costa Rica. That's the law. However, there's very little uh, consumer protections for people getting onto airplanes, and so you may get scammed and may be powerless to do anything about it. Feeling impotent on a flight, that you're about to lose for your trip is not a place you want to be. So just be aware that you need to be prepared to come up with flight uh, uh, details for a forward flight that you're not going to use and just take the bus. But you can get lucky and have an airline treat you with respect and have none of those problems. The bus is all that is needed and you are legally handled in all situations. So from a Costa Rica perspective, totally covered. So the buses like the Tika bus, the Nika bus, the Nika Expresso, which I take, all work out just fine. That ticket is absolutely okay. We do it all the time. Perfectly good. If you don't want to take the bus up, which is fine, it's from Liberia. I think it's about eight hours to get up to Leon, probably about six hours to go to Managua. It's a long way, but it's not terrible. It handles you through the border very elegantly. I like that a lot. You don't have to carry your luggage through that zone. They just pull up, tell you where to go, get back on the bus, go to the next spot. It's the best. But not everyone wants to spend a bunch of their day riding on the bus. And maybe you're going to places that the bus doesn't go. If you're just like me coming home to Leon, it's hard to get better than the bus because it brings me right to my city and I just get picked up by friends right over at the bus station. Like that's so easy. But if you're going to say Madagalpa or you're going to someplace in the middle of nowhere and the bus doesn't stop there or go through there, then it could be a big pain because you're going to have to get dropped off in some other city and then arrange more transportation after that. So there's lots of great reasons to take the bus, and there's a lot of great reasons not to take the bus. The alternative is to take a shuttle, and uh, this could be a taxi shuttle or just a border shuttle. Uh, we always take a taxi. We have a taxi service that we know in Costa Rica, so we trust them. Just call them up, and they just bring a small van, like a minivan kind of thing. We're able to store our luggage. Uh, we're able to have, you know, my whole family plus all of our luggage and stuff. Easy, easy. And they drive us right to the border, drop us at the border, make sure that we get all of our luggage and walk into border control at Costa Rica, and then they return. We walk through all that. Once we're done with the Costa Rican uh, side, we go into the Nicaraguan side, go through all of that, and get into Nicaragua, and then we get picked up either by friends or more useful to people on my channel, we get picked up by a driver or a shuttle service waiting for us there. You know, we have a private driver here in Leon, so anytime we're doing something like that and we need someone, we just call him. He goes right to the border and he sits there and waits for us. And of course, we're texting him on WhatsApp. We're able to communicate and say, you know, okay, we're going to be through in 30 minutes. Line is long. Here's what's going on. And he'll be like, okay, he'll send us a pin drop. This is where my car is sitting. And life is easy. You come out with your luggage, he puts it in the trunk. And then for us, it's about four hours back to Leon. If you're going to Managua, it's a little bit over two hours. Uh, San Juan del Sur is like, I don't know, 45 minutes, if, if even that, uh, maybe 30 minutes. It's all very close down there. So th those are how you typically handle it. People are always asking me, can I take a taxi from uh, Liberia and just pay for them to go all the way through? No, you cannot do that. I'm not aware of any taxi service that is able to cross the border. The buses are able to cross the border. They're unique. And I've even seen buses that can't. They actually switch drivers and buses at some of the borders. But all the ones I mentioned, I believe, are able to go right across the border. I know my Nika Expresso does. I know the Tika bus does. Uh, you just ride the same bus through the border. So like little things, like I got a bottle of water, I got a snack sitting on the bus. They don't go through border control. They don't care. But your backpack and stuff, they've got to be scanned and, and go through. So your luggage gets taken with you. But if you leave like some food on your seat or whatever, a book you're reading, no problem. You're going to get back on the bus. It's still going to be out there at your seat. 
So I do like that. I find the bus to be the most convenient way under normal circumstances, but obviously you have to be there at the right time. You have to uh, coordinate very well. It's easy to end up being late with your flight, not be able to make the bus or whatever. So there are definitely reasons, especially if you're coming in at an odd time where having your own shuttle that takes you to the border is just worth it. People always ask me how much does this cost? These things change all the time. I'm not great on these prices. I believe on the Costa Rican side, it's about $100 to go from the airport to the border. And then on the Nicaraguan side, obviously depends where you're going but for us here in Leon I believe it's about $150 uh, to get up to Leon so you can kind of guess from there what it's going to be uh, distance does play a big factor because it's the amount of the day my driver coming from Leon it is 100% of his day he has to give up the whole day to come get us but it's a guaranteed day of work and it's very relaxed so he likes it pretty much and we always stop I highly recommend this if you are willing to eat uh, Asian fusion that is vegan there is a Malaysian restaurant in Hino Tepe that is one of my favorite places in the country the food is fantastic it is so worth uh, taking your own transportation so you can stop at that restaurant uh, and eat until you are ready to puke and then run across the street to cafe alicia and pick up a really nice coffee and get back on the road and head back out of town as my one little uh, side tip for people who are traveling through there. While I'm talking, my Boston Terrier has come up and is sitting on my foot. He doesn't normally do this while I'm doing the show, so that's kind of funny. But anyway, Liberia is absolutely a good option. Some people have mentioned to me that they're a little bit concerned coming through Liberia because what if it's uh, harder to deal with the border than at the airport? Honestly, I think dealing with the border at Pinas Blancas, which is the Costa Rica Nicaragua crossing, is actually the easiest of all the borders. The Honduran border, a little bit more complicated, mostly because so few tourists go through there. Uh, the airport or is easy, but it's uh, the, the heaviest uh, inspection of any of the places. And if you're going to have something pulled to the side and, and being dealt with in a more lengthy way, the airport is the worst place to have that happen. And the, the land border is the easiest to have it happen. I think it's less likely to happen at the land border. That's just my personal opinion. But definitely, if I was going to have to deal with a, a lengthy aduana or customs process, I would certainly prefer it to happen at the land border. Of course, if you're at the airport, you can go straight across the street to the Best Western should you need to stay anywhere. If you're at the land crossing, you do need to go a little ways to get to a hotel, but you don't need to go very far and they're way less expensive. So it's all a balancing act for sure. Uh, overall, I think everything's a good option, right? Managua Airport, Liberia Airport, possibly San Jose if you're willing to do that extra long drive through Costa Rica. But if you're going to see Costa Rica or you just really want to see the views, it's great. I'd use the airport. That's our international airport. Real quickly, I want to mention San Jose is our major international airport in the region. They go all over Europe, South America, and so forth. You really can go anywhere. Liberia is a tourist airport. It exists really for all intents and purposes just to offset some of the heavy traffic going into San Jose for people who are destined for the Guanacaste and Nicoya Peninsula coming from North America. So flights into Liberia are almost exclusively from North America. There's no eastbound European flights. There's no southbound South American flights. People constantly ask me about this. Well, can I use it for? No. It is a local flight, small flights coming in from North America and nothing else. There is never going to be something else. I'm sure that is not at the purpose of the airport. Costa Rica is a small country. San Jose is a really major airport going to those places. If you're coming from South America or Europe, you don't care about saving that little bit of drive and going into Liberia. You're not going to do that. But if you're coming from North America and you're like doing a weekend trip and you're just flying in and it's only two, three hours, you want it to be as easy as possible. Being hours closer to the beach could be the difference between lots of people coming and a lot of people not coming. Plus, Costa Rica wants to reduce all that traffic driving around the country just to go from the airport out to the Guanacaste. So it makes a lot of sense that Liberia is this very small focused airport for this one purpose. Everything's going to be in English. It's very easy to deal with as a tourist. San Jose is too, but not to the degree of Liberia. So when you're looking at Liberia and wondering what's going to be available there, just assume it is basically an alternative to Managua for people who are going to that southeastern Nicaragua, northwestern Costa Rica, I'm sorry, southwestern, northwestern uh, Costa Rica zone, the Guanacaste and Rivas, uh, and want an airport that's closer to that area for people coming from North America. And then once you understand that that's what it's doing, everything it does typically makes sense. That's why the flights North Americans want are good there, and the ones everyone else wants aren't available. So when we're going down to Costa Rica, we're always going to San Jose, because we typically use the big airport at San Jose, the Santa Maria Airport, to go to South America or potentially to Europe. Uh, and generally, if we're going to North America, Managua has good connections. Liberia just has some alternatives. So in many cases, you still want to do Managua. It's going to make your life a little bit easier if you're able to 
we get there. But if you don't have those direct connections, Liberia is absolutely an option. You won't have a problem with it. There's none of those logistic pieces are so big as to be a showstopper or even a major concern. It's very easy to use. It's very comfortable to use. And if for any reason you need to stay in the area, you don't want to, you know, get off your plane and immediately transit. Yes, there are hotels at the airport, like the Hilton, which is where I stay when I'm there. Uh, and there's plenty that are like in Liberia proper and easy to stay, low cost. I mean, it's still an airport zone in Costa Rica. So it's a little bit pricey, not bad at all. Very easy to deal with logistically and then deal with your bus or your, your shuttle or whatever in the morning, however you want to do it. So I think it's a good option. And uh, hopefully you guys can find good, nice ways to get to Nicaragua and explore the region and uh, definitely come down and see us. If you want to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller, or you can join our channel. It's $5 a month and it's just a commitment to help support what we do here. It doesn't really give you any special benefits other than our private chat group. And uh, as always, watch another video that really does help let a video play in the background. Even if you're not watching it, all those things help build views. That's how YouTube finds out that people really love the channel. And we love getting questions and comments from you guys so if you could get down there scroll down if you're on a tv you gotta go to a computer or something but otherwise go down there say hello ask a question leave a comment whatever it's great to connect with you guys remember on thursdays we try to do live streams we've missed a few but we've basically done every thursday for the year and we're going to try to do it this thursday which is coming up pretty soon i'm working really hard to be available to do this thursday because i spent two weeks without it and i really miss you guys it's so much fun hanging out and and i'm going to be traveling to the u.s from Managua, not from Liberia, at the end of the year uh, to go see uh, family for Christmas, as many people do. And uh, probably won't be able to do a live stream from Texas. But you never know. Maybe I'll be able to pull it off. Let's see if I have equipment to do that. Boy, that's going to be... I, I don't even know if that's possible. We'll see. Maybe I'll be able to do it while I'm in Texas and New York. But that would be cool. And uh, maybe get my dad or something on the show. I will see all of you tomorrow. <laughs>